some kind of like influential popular kind of film um that was released in early december so and then i was talking to someone about it and i was just thinking like brokeback mountain i don't know isn't that good i wouldn't say it's my favorite movie it was okay when i was watching it but to me i feel like uh I feel like, you know, like, no disrespect to, like, Heath Ledger, Jake Gyllenhaal, or Ang Lee, or Anne Hathaway, or anything, but I kind of feel felt like uh, what was missing from Brokeback Mountain was, like, an actual, like, LGBTQ kind of, like, queer perspective from it. Um, so I thought, yeah, sure, maybe I'll try to, like, make my own weird version of Brokeback Mountain. And then I thought, well, why should I just... Why should I keep all this fun to myself? Maybe other people have other ideas where to take Brother Mountain or like a general gay western kind of theme. So so that's why I did, hosted this uh, gay western jam. Uh, pretty short notice and it just lasted about a week. Because uh, I think short and sweet projects are the best for me personally. Uh, so I started that up and then uh, got about 30 people entering their stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I thought it would be nice to maybe play through a few of them and uh, see what they do. Uh, I've already played through a few of these, but I thought it might be fun to play in public with a stream. Uh, so yeah, Gay Western. Yeah, I mean Old Town Road. I mean, you know, yeah, all that good stuff. Uh, so the first game I'm going to talk about, so here you can see behind me is all the, uh, is the itch.io page. I encourage you to check that out. Here, I'll even, like, try to paste the link to that in the chat so you can check that out or play along if you want. Um, but, you know, no pressure. You can also just watch me play it. Um, so the first game I'm going to play, I think, is called Is It That Deep, Bro? It's the second game up on that uh, page behind me. I tried to get Cider working for this stream, but unfortunately that first game, Cider, looks really cool, but it's in Unreal, and I couldn't figure out how to get the Unreal Engine to output in a windowed mode. I tried in editing the config file and stuff. And because it's in a full screen exclusive mode, I actually can't get my OBS to work with it properly, unfortunately. So um, check out Cider definitely. I think it's super cool, but unfortunately, I don't think I can get it working for this stream. So in the meantime, uh, let's try playing Is It That Deep Bro? 
So, uh, let's load that up and see what that looks like. Uh, let's hide this thingy. There we go. So, um, that lovely music you hear in the background is the background music for Is It That Deep, Bro? And, uh, it looks like this is some kind of Rempai game, uh, visual novel kind of thing. Can I make this screen bigger? Will Rempai let me do that? No, Rempai's fighting me a little bit. I think this is as big as it's gonna get, sorry. Okay, let's get into it. So, Is It That Deep, Bro? Holy shit, this place is empty. Woof, you're right. I guess nobody's clamoring to see this a month after it's out, huh? I'm gonna just try to narrate these characters, or how I imagine these characters sound. I don't know. Uh, it's probably boring, but it's an Oscar nom. Oh, this sounds like- are we gonna watch Brokeback Mountain? I feel like this is what this is about a little bit. Probably boring, but it's an Oscar nom. Hmm. What's really interesting about this is that they- actually haven't given us much information about how to roleplay this character. We actually don't really know what's going on right here. Looks like we're gonna go see some kind of Brokeback Mountain. Oh, name, sorry, not Brokeback Mountain. I mean Dallas Divide. <laughs> oh, that's that's a good name. We should, we should make that movie. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, it's Oscar nominee and everything. So right now we're in an empty theater. The movie hasn't started yet. And we're gonna be watching Dallas Divide. Uh, people don't want to see this movie. See what? Cowboys and assless chaps spread across a 30-foot screen. You know, if Brokeback actually did have assless chaps, that would have been pretty cool. But, you know, you can't have everything. I think your priorities are a little different from the average viewer, bro. Oh yeah, then why'd you go with me? I'm gonna throw milk duds at the screen to see if they stick. Uh, okay, so this sounds like... Like a situation where it's like two people who are kind of not really sure about their sexuality but they want to be like straight presenting or something so that they don't seem like they're too gay or off or whatever. Um... Oh and it seems like they don't go to the movies very often because it seems like they don't know what the armrest does. You're trying to cuddle or something. I was mostly hoping for a handy, actually. No homo. Okay, so it seems like these two characters are, um, the way they're talking, it seems like they're like two straight boys who don't want to show their interest in the movie, so, or don't want to betray themselves, right? So they're just gonna be like, oh yeah, no homo, but let's watch this gay cowboy movie, right? Which, you know, we've all been there. That's how life is. It's okay. We are, you know, coming out is a different journey for everyone. And maybe that's part of the beauty of this one. Um, keep saying that and I'll start to suspect something. Okay, so it's getting a little bit flirty here, right? Okay. Two star-crossed bro bros. One madly in love with the other. Uh, shut up. The letter's left unsent. Whispers left on whispered. Okay, so they're teasing each other about how they're gay. This seems pretty gay, though. Seems like two gays afraid to show their gayness. The movie's getting tense. Okay, so we're so cut to a little bit into the movie. Uh, we're watching this movie. The main character Buck has been Buck is a good name. You know what Buck rhymes with? Um, has been grappling with something all morning after accidentally catching his Marshall friend, Randall, bathing in a nearby spring. Oh my. Oh my, I hope this game doesn't get too racy. I hope I hope Twitch doesn't ban me for this content. We'll see. Um, Buck sits bow, bow-legged? Bow-legged? Bow bow-legged. Uh, on a stool, he's dragged around the side of the house. Randall's there. Okay, so it's describing the movie. Um, pretty interesting choice here to just narrate the action instead of depicting it on the screen, on the part of this designer here. And now we're getting dialogue from the movie. Do you ever dream, Randall? What do you mean? This is good stuff. I'm pretty sure I've read fanfiction that goes like this. I do. I dream every night. Oh, and then a gunshot rings over the mountaintops, sending a cloud of birds out of the trees and up 
I'm out of frame. Before Buck can finish, Teehee, Randall's kicked his horse into a gallop and he disappears in a cloud of dust. Ah, hell. Get it. That's totally how gay cowboys talk. Oh, shit. We're sharing an armrest. His arm is touching my arm. Out of the corner of your eye, Clay seems transfixed by the movie. You guess he's counting how long the milk dud he threw will stay stuck to the screen. I don't think he's counting milk duds anymore. I think he's counting something else. I don't even know if he's noticed. Should I move my hand from the armrest? Oh, and then there's like mini games in this, right? Hit the space bar at the right moment to choose what you'd like to do. Okay. I'm pro at this. Just watch. Oh shit. Wait, was that right? Oh man. That was really short notice. Okay, you gently slide your hand off the armrest over the course of a minute. His eyes and yours st stay staring at the screen. So much suspense, so much, so much tension. Look, I'm like fucking sweating here. Oh my god. It's about halfway through the movie. Randall has conscripted Buck for help returning a herd of rustled cattle uh, back to their owners. Resting at a makeshift campsite the third night out, Buck sees Randall pulling off his jeans before redonning his chaps. Underneath, he isn't wearing underwear. You know, this is actually kind of more intense. It sounds like they just went to Times Square in the 70s, and they're actually just watching a gay porn flick, really. I mean, Brokeback is never really like this. Um, you know, Ang Lee is too classy, you know. He never really does a shot that's really like that. The hidden glances in Brokeback are more glancy. Oh my god! There's an extended close-up on Randall's ass, partially lit by flitting orange firelight. Clay stifles a giggle. Oh my god, dude, what is happening? It's definitely an ass. What the hell do I say about this? Please, Brain, let me say something smart. <laughs> oh my god, look at me! I'm like, I'm like sweating. That's me, that's clearly my character, or us, I should say. I'm like sweating, crying, I'm like sweat crying, like all those feelings, right? We've all been there. Click the option you want to say, hurry, or Clay will think you're a dork. Okay, so we're staring at a butt and we don't know what to say, right? Try to get in this mood, right? Try to think back to your method acting techniques. Oh god, uh, panic. I'm cracking up. Look at the lighting. Oh god. Uh, uh, panic. Let's panic. What, bro? I wasn't even paying attention. Holy shit, what were they thinking? Clay Snickers plays a little disappointed. He expected me to have a better joke. Yeah, dude, that's whack. Oh man, didn't have a good butt joke. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to roleplay realistically, you know? Um, uh, oh, in the chat, uh, Trundlesby asks, uh, is there a comparison with blaxploitation films here where even poor depictions of minority can be useful for the community as it's empowering just to be depicted in a movie? Um, I mean, maybe, yeah, I mean, this film does seem kind of cheesy, and, you know, there is a whole just huge, like, slew of gay romances these days, um, where they are kind of... You know, there's like tropes where they kind of do fall into like a broke back kind of valley of patterns. Um, and you know, that's that's okay. I like those movies too. Um, like there was a recent movie called uh, God's Own Country, which is basically, I forget what, it's set somewhere in like the northern UK. It's about sheep. It's about two farmers again. Um, it's clear, very much clearly someone who wanted to make their own version of Brokeback Mountain. Um, and that's okay, you know, it's okay to enjoy, um, things that are kind of predictable or things that follow patterns. Um, I mean, as long as we have movies that are also, um, doing other things too, right? As long as it's not just this, like, monoculture, I think. Um, and then Tin Kelp asks, uh, oh, it just says, yeah, don't... Don't let Clay, Clay's our, Clay's the other guy here, right here, uh, not us. Don't let him know what butts are. <laughs> don't think you don't know what butts are. Oh my god. I mean, we don't know what butts are, right? We haven't really thought about it. 
right? We're just young, we're just a young teenager in the theater, thought we were gonna make fun of this, but actually this movie's very touching, right? Look at this dialogue. In the movie, Buck is saying, I love you, Randall, there or here, no matter where we are. Oh man, this is getting really intense. You know I can't say it back, Buck. Oh my god. As the music swells, Randall steps out. Buck gets up to follow him. Take a moment to peer over at Clay. Oh, is he is he tearing up at this moment too? I wonder what's happening. He's leaned forward, eyes locked toward the screen, sporting a quivering frown. Oh my god. Oh, uh-oh. Am I watching the movie, or am I watching my friend? Oh my god. Oh shit, okay, now it's not even mouse gameplay. Now we have to use these arrow keys. Okay. Oh my god, wait, I want to watch the movie. Wait, wait, should we watch him? No, no, no. No, let's watch the movie, right? It's pretty intense. Oh my god, look at how intense this movie is. You look back at the movie. Buck follows Randall out the door and catches up to him on the dirt path that leads toward town. Randall! Randall! Randall stops and turns around. Tears are rolling down his face. God damn it, Buck. I... I don't know how to quit you. Okay, that's... That's... That's literally a quote from Brokeback Mountain, by the way. Um... Spoiler. Sorry. Buck approaches him slowly and pulls him into a kiss. Randall kisses him back. Okay, this is more romantic than broke back, actually. You don't have to. Oh, it's a happy ending. Oh, you look down for a moment to wipe your eyes. When you look back, the credits have started. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. So this is like an alternate universe where we go to we go to a theater with our fellow gay curious bi curious friend. Um, and we both decide to come out of the closet. What's gonna happen? You both walk out of the movie theater a little dazed as the credits roll. Dot dot dot. Well, I liked the the bloomy animation there. Clay asks us, so what did you think of the movie? You say it was great. The lighting, the cinematography, the acting. Holy shit, right? I mean, those formal aspects are what you say when you don't actually want to come out and say that was fucking hot and I want to watch it over and over. Right? Instead you say, oh yes, mm, yes, the cinematography. Mm. It was like really good. I honestly expected us to kind of just rip on it for a few hours, but it was just really, really good. Oh yeah, dude, I could tell how much you were into it. Don't think I didn't catch you cheering up. His eyes narrow as he smiles, and you, you instinctively wipe a tear off your cheek. You couldn't cry about a movie like that. They fell in love despite all the obstacles. They're taking a chance for each other. God, I want to love like that. Exactly like that. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, and now we're like making eye contact. We're not really sure what we're doing. Are you ready to head home? Wait, what? We're not going home together? I gotta take a walk around the block. We're not we're not gonna like smooch outside the movie theater? Oh man, no, we're too reflective, we're too thoughtful. It messed us up too much. Oh man, okay. So I read on the page that I think there's three different endings, and I guess this is the reflection ending. If you play it on your own. Hopefully you can try it for a different ending. Me, oh, if only I just held his hand for longer, right? Oh, oh well. Maybe next time. You know, you can't win them all. And that was "Is It That Deep, Bro?" Uh, and "Is It That Deep, Bro?" was by. Uh, let me see. "Is It That Deep, Bro?" was by. Uh, browsing this over to the credits. Uh, concept was by. Mogwling? Mogwling? I'm not sure how to say that, I'm sorry. And then Cave Gift. Um, and music by Lydian Cord and Bad Cartridge. Lovely music. 
Really set the mood. Okay, now it's is it that deep, bro? Let's uh let's close that up and uh move on to our next game. Uh, our next game, I think we'll try. I'm not gonna play my own ga game because that's just that's not classy. That's not how I roll. Um, I'm just gonna skip. I'm just gonna skip my own game because you know you can play that if you want. Uh, that's called That Lonesome Valley. Um, play it on your own time if you want, but I won't force. I won't play my own game on the stream. Maybe. Uh, instead, I'm gonna move on to the next game. I think is that fourth game. Uh, train of thought. Let's see how that is. Um, let's see. I downloaded it. Let's see if I can get this running. Hopefully, it boots in the windowed mode. Let's see. It doesn't boot in the windowed mode. That's not good for us. Oh, okay. I can boot this in the display mode. Windowed. Ultra quality. Does that sound good? Okay. I think I have this working. Um, yeah, it was kind of nice how it was kind of like a cute romance, right? Okay, yeah, you're right, Trundle Spot. It was nice. It's nice that it's not, you know, not everything needs to be as horny and explicit as I always am. I'm, I'll get my mind out of the gutter. Uh, okay, this game is called Train of Thought. And uh, according to the game page, it is by... Looks like it's by several people. It's by uh, Attila Gallio and uh, Lucas O'Grassi with some writing credits to Felipe Caldas. So uh, I should probably paste the links to these in the chat. Uh, let me do that. Uh, all right, this is called Train of Thought. Let's see what happens. I have no idea what type of game this is. Is it a mouse game? Am I going to press... I tried pressing G, but it didn't seem to do anything. It seems like we're on some kind of train. With all these hunky cowboys here. Oh, and then there's some dialogue here. Oh, my, my, my fucking face is in the way. Okay, um... Uh, okay, I'll just try to move over here. Okay. Oh, shit. Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you up. Ooh. Is this gonna be like a hunky, hunky game? Okay, well you just did. Is that flirty? I think that's a good line, right? What was our last stop, Denver? Maybe I shouldn't have played at such a high resolution because maybe the UI isn't scaled to screen resolution. Uh, and then I, th I guess this is our character. I guess we're John, right? Uh, oh no, I should have gone off at the train there. Look on the bright side. You look pretty when you sleep. Oh. Oh my. You know, moving a little fast here, but you know, I like it. You know, maybe that's how we do it. Uh, it's just a compliment. Don't need to be so tense. Oh my god. Yeah, getting pretty gay pretty fast. You know, I, I approve. Why not? Anyway, why are you here? You're on this seat, you mean? Yes. I'm actually hiding from someone. Ooh. Bandit intrigue. Oh my god. Okay, so we have to choose now. Uh, are we going to suggest he's hiding from his wife? Are we going to suggest he's hiding from his kids? Or hiding from his friends? I mean, he's kind of established that he has the hots for us. Um, so, And in the Wild West, you know... You know, institutions such as marriage don't really matter that much to us. So, you know, let's... I don't think we care about the wife. And we don't really care... You know, we're out on the West. It's not really a family kind of place. So I think we'll just ask... Uh, maybe he's waiting for a friend. Is he hiding from a friend? Well, something like that. Let's just say that I'm running away from problems. Oh my god, aren't we all? Aren't, aren't we all? Uh, let me bump up some of this music a little bit. Uh, okay, we can get here. Maybe staying close to a snoring man would help me. Oh my god, he wants to stay near me when I'm snoring. Oh. 
Oh, this is kind of getting flirty. Okay. I can pretend to snore. You're all so pretty when you're awake. Oh my god. Yeah, this is pretty forward. Can't say I've ever been really bored with this overtly, personally. So I'm kind of like in this role-playing mode. I'm trying to imagine what it would be like. I mean, if you're going to flirt with someone, though, flirting on a train is pretty good because, uh, you know, a train is like a captive audience a little bit, right? Like... You know, you get time to like, you get to spend time with someone. You know, like a train romance is theoretically pretty nice. On the other hand, if someone's flirting with you and you don't really want to like, talk to them or see them, you're kind of trapped a little bit. You kind of have to like, move to another car at that point. That kind of sucks. And how should I have done that? Oh, hideout. Expert. Sorry, off work today. So all I've left to do is to listen to your advice, and well, that's cool. Okay, what should we ask him? Should we say, should we ask him, where are you going? What's your name, or what do you work with? Hmm. Well, we could ask. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty. It's the Wild West. It's probably running from the law, right? That's what I'm gonna guess. I'm trying to run from the law. Um, where are you going? What's your name? You know, names aren't important anymore, right? We just want to go... I feel, I mean, my strategy here is, you know, let's go, like, let's just go fuck in the bathroom or something, but it seems like we're a bit away from that. Go that. Did they have bathrooms and trains back then? Hmm. Maybe in the caboose. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the caboose. I do love a good caboose pun. Um, okay. Let's see. What do you work with? Hmm. What do you work with? I mean, that sounds... That sounds pretty flirty. I think... I think I'm gonna go with that. Well, I'm a rancher. Oh, no. Oh, he's not. I don't think he's fleeing from the law, unfortunately. That's a shame. Did you think I would do anything interesting? Yeah, I don't. Okay, now, now he's kind of getting a little bit hostile. I'm sorry, jeez. Okay. Oh, okay, this is like a phone tree kind of structure. Okay, where are you going? Let's say I do charity work. He's a rancher who does charity work. Interesting. Yeah, what's his story? Uh oh. Oh my god, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? The train just exploded. What? What? Whoa, okay, I did not expect that. Wait, what's going on? Oh my god. Whoa, okay. Oh god, the train just got derailed. Uh oh. Oh my god, wait, wait, don't cry. Oh my god, uh, yeah, well, like puppets on like a stage being suspended from these like ropes or sticks or something? Interesting. Oh, and this is a different man here, okay. Okay, so now this other person is like. Now this other person's like questioning us? What? What does that even mean? Wait, is it like keyboard control? Oh, okay. Oh wow, okay. Huh, I wonder what we're- okay, I guess we'll walk here. I like the uh, painterly kind of aesthetic. It uh, mixes nice with the uh, 3D- I mean, the 3D texturing could be like more painterly maybe. Oh, what's going on? Okay. Move my mouse over here. 
Oh god. Um. Oh wait. Oh oops. I don't want to stop. Uh oh. Am I just gonna die in this desert? Uh oh. No, we need to stay alive. We need to find. We need to find our new boyfriend. Oh wait, I'm gonna. It's actually super washed out on the stream. Hold on, let me change this a little bit. I had this uh, increased a lot for a uh, long dark, but there, that's kind of more accurate to what I'm seeing. It's like a really nice, rich, kind of saturated orange. Uh, okay, let's keep going here, this way. Oh look, there's all these people. Oh wow, there's like all these characters. Oh, this person doesn't have a rope. Oh. What's going on? Wait, what? Okay, so this is our boyfriend, obviously. This is us. I don't know. Yeah, I never. I'm not sure what. I mean, the the timed um, bubble pot mechanic is kind of interesting. It's never quite clear to me what I should be doing there, though, or what kind of outcome will lead to what. It's kind of hard for me to predict what's going to happen. How do I talk to my boyfriend now? Okay, maybe I just need to keep walking. I guess. Oh wait, is that the wrong one? Okay, should I go over here? Am I missing a button here? Do I need to talk to this person, maybe? Oh, okay. Just go? Just go where? Okay, do I have to talk to him? Does Facebook do anything? I guess we have to go back the way we came. Going this way. This will go back to the left. Oh. Why'd she stop here? Is she okay? She's just standing there. Wait, I'm not sure what to do now. Okay, maybe I'll go back to her. Maybe I'll just, uh. Click on her? Maybe that's what I should be doing? Hey, lady. Wake up. Okay, yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Maybe I didn't hit a trigger over here? No, I'm just, it just lets me walk off screen, which doesn't quite feel right. I just want to smooch with my rancher boyfriend. Oh wait, now it's scrolling more to the left. Is it? There's someone off screen, but I can't quite... I think I'm missing something. Uh-oh. Maybe I'm not supposed to talk with her? Maybe I hit a bug? I don't know, I'll try for a little bit more and then I might have to give up and move on to the next game. See how we do. To talk with him. Maybe I can talk with this guy? He told me to walk away though. Just to talk with her. She looks ready for something. She looks ready for for a fight. Uh, maybe 
seem to be doing anything. Maybe I need to keep walking to the right more? Oh, okay. That was what I was supposed to do. Okay. over there? Am I supposed to go over there? I like the uh, foggy, dreamy kind of aesthetic here. I don't think I can go that way though. Um, uh, did I go the wrong way? Am I supposed to be walking? Oh, I'm supposed to be walking over here through this arch maybe? stamina. We are tired, can't you see? You don't care about the time, do you? What do you mean by that? Oh. Yeah, there's some kind of cryptic argument going on here. Oh, I wonder what's going on. I guess we'll find out. I guess we just have to always walk to the right. That seems to be the overriding thing we're doing in each sequence. Uh, okay. I'm done traveling with you. What? But you promised me. But look at where we are now. I never wanted to go there in the first place. Yeah, I wonder what they're arguing about. It's not really clear. But let me tell you something. I don't know what's going on. Oh, they're like fighting. But the bandits are going to get us. The banditos. Uh-oh, we have to keep running? Okay. Wait, it's not letting me run. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Are we walking? Okay, we're... Running to the right more? Who am I? Why would I be thinking that while running from the band? I don't see any bandits though. Do I like him? I'm going through like an existential like gay romance crisis. while running from the bandits. I mean, I guess that's how it happens. Okay. What's going on here? Did I reach the- okay, this place is gorgeous. Oh, there's so much adventure. Wait, we're gonna jump into the river? Oh my god. Oh, she just died off screen. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, let's go jump in the water.
Oh no. George, John, and Linda. The abrupt music ending is... I kind of wish, yeah, the music carried over because it's kind of hard to know what the mood is right here. Okay, let's get back with George and get up to some gay shit. Come on. Uh, okay, so like we're learning more about her. We learned more about her and like Maybe she's gay too. They're just gay siblings on the run. Wait, how do I? I thought I, this looked like I could climb up here, but I guess not because it wasn't letting me. I don't know how I get there. There's no easy way for me to climb up there. How do I get up to my sweetie? He's so far away. Do I walk through here? And then, no, that doesn't seem right. Maybe I can walk up here. There's no jump button, though. Uh, maybe it'll let me pass up there. There we go. Okay, let's smooch. You don't have a John vo face. Jeez. Oh, there's no town there yet. <laughs> oh, well, you know, you know, it's a game jam game. You know, you run out of time. It happens. I totally ran out of time for my game, too. But, you know, imagine that there's like a lovely little town here, you know? Are you brave like that all the time? Oh my god! Wait, how do I kiss him? How do I smooch him? No, wait, none- all these are bad! Uh-oh. Wait, I don't want to say bad things to him. Aww. Aww, yay! Aww, oh, that's so romantic! Aww, look at that. The end. I totally S ranked that. Aw, oh, that's nice. That was Train of Thought. Little bit of an adventure, little bit of romance, kind of had a little bit of everything. I liked it. Uh, okay, let's come back. Uh, the next game we should try out is the fifth one on that page. I need lookouts. Let's see if we can get that one running. Um, uh, Okay, almost have it going. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay. So, uh, this is Lookouts, and Lookouts is by... Let me look this up. Lookouts is by Paranoid Hawk. Ooh, good name. With uh, art by uh, Cold, Cold Doggo. And music by the very, uh, very omnipresent Kevin McLeod. So, uh, this is Lookouts. Oh, wait, I lost my window. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, um, oh, hello, Attila, um, thanks for making a lovely game. Uh, okay, lookouts. Uh, let's see, the guy said, this guy is someone to ride the river with. He never sell me bunk information. That town has struck gold, that's what he heard. Heard? He just heard about it. What kind of source is that? We can't go in off of rumors, you nutcase. But think about it, we'll be living like English kings if we take over a- English kings, it's very specific, not just any kind of king. Uh, English kings, so you know, you're just gonna have coronation chicken, and like, those weird sandwiches you have at tea. Uh, if we're gonna take over a supply like that, what else are we gonna do? That last job was a bust, we got nothing left. Okay, so there's some like, argument within this whole crew about what to do. And they're like taking up jobs. They seem like they're like bandits or something. And it seems like we're not we're low ranking. We are not the boss in this game. Uh, oh, and then there's some lovely music. Turn it down a little bit. Sorry. Uh, the desert is an orange haze. Scorched sands whip up around your horse's legs, the sun hot against your back as you ride towards the town. Uh, yeah, I like the, the art style, it's pretty nice. There's not much to be done while riding. The desert is lonely, harsh, bare. Only thing to do is to think. Well, I like the character design too. It's like, yeah, it's like I'm some kind of like mouse. I think, I, I think that's like a tail. Maybe I'm a coyote. Oh, I'm a wolf. We always have to fight for survival. Okay, yeah, I guess like wolves do that or something, right? There's like lone wolves or something. So I sent you off with some playing cards at the very least. I'm a low ranking wolf, I guess, in this whole wolf pack. Wolf bandit camp. Nice frontier town. Can't see much else from way up here. Turn to get your binoculars. You open your saddlebag and pull the metal binoculars out. Uh, brushing it against your poncho. That's a pretty good poncho. You know, ponchos should actually come back into fashion. I think that's going to be the next big trend. Mark my words. Uh, brush against your poncho to dust off the lenses. Turning back. Ooh. This is not a- this looks like some kind of like eagle kind of fella here. Turning back to walk to the edge, a figure suddenly rounds the corner of the large rock you decide to set camp under. Ha! Ah, that is what birds- oh my god! And I'm holding my bird friend at gunpoint, that's not nice. The air feels very still all of a sudden. He's definitely an outlaw, just like yourself. A rugged beak. Pretty hot. I do like a rugged beak. Their face and arms are marked with scars, and a large sawn-off shotgun hangs in their holster. Oh dear. It's dangerous in the West. What's your name, partner? Joseph. What are you doing out all here? What are you doing all the way out here, Joseph? Could ask you the same question. Uh oh. We're two outlaws who can't quite trust each other. Yeah, look at us. We're we're looking at each other real real cagey. Like you lower your gun, like your shoulder joint just gave out, and you let it hang there.
no, we seem to be flirting with each other. Look at these little flirting marks right here. Uh-oh. I'm looking all bashful. Well, I like the different expressions. That's nice. Part of the Black Vulture gang. Uh-oh. But we're part of the Curly Wolf gang. Uh-oh. I hope we don't have to fight. I hope we can just ride off into the sunset, you know? Trying to make a mash on me? <laughs> I gotta remember that line. Oh, we're blushing? Aww. Again, getting pretty gay real fast here. I like it. Get hot and heavy here. We're just a bunch of outlaws respecting gender. We're a bunch of gender outlaws, as you do. No cops out here in the desert telling us what gender we are. We get to say what gender we are. Could you get a camp start while I go around this valley and check which building is the bank? Ooh. What, are we gonna get to rob a bank? Ooh, we're gonna share a meal? Ooh, this is like a date. Oh my god, he's putting a blanket around my shoulders? Aww. Shut your bazoo. <laughs> you know, I yeah, I think the really just... One of the best parts of, like, Western games, I think, is just, like, the way, like, people talk, you know? To me, I think that's what kind of marks the, uh, whole Western genre. You know, the way people talk all folksy-like and you get to put it on real heavy. Ooh, we're sharing a little moment next to the fire. Ooh. Deserts, you know, no joke. Deserts do get quite cold at night. It's nice to warm up with a sweetheart at a campfire in the cold night desert. Uh-oh, are we falling in love? Oh my god. to go back you stay clinging to him after a few moments he pulls you tighter uh, i have to say i feel the same way i can see in you someone who's faced so many hardships someone who deserves better who's worked harder than any of those lump suckers lump suckers you know who doesn't like sucking a good lump right back where you uh, come from we're a couple of queer fish in a barrel i'd say Lord knows how we found each other. The sun will come up again. We'll have to go our separate ways. But oh, a little bit of broke back here. You lift your head to look up at him. But he just gives you a look and turns back to the fire. Ooh. gonna have to fight and kill each other oh my god or what if we just run away what if we just run off together oh my god oh uh, this is gonna be a really hard decision should we 
But if we run away, will our gangs, like, come after us and hunt us down, you know? Like, we might... Hmm, what are we gonna do? Should we try to get them? Should we try to get rid of them? Or should we just run away? I think we're gonna have to make a choice, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> or maybe the... Well, we'll maybe just have to hold that choice and moment in our minds. Which, you know, makes sense. Um, and that was the game, Lookouts. I'm glad we didn't have to choose in the end, because that would have been a really, really difficult choice. I think we might not have been able to make it in there. Um, oh, and the, and the one of the developers is in the chat here, Paranoid Hawk. Hello, Paranoid Hawk. You made a lovely game. Thank you for making it and sharing it with all of us. And, uh... Let me uh let me link to it a little bit. Uh, let me see. How do I get this URL? Uh, if anyone in the chat wants to try that game out, the link to it is in the chat. Definitely recommend it. Uh, lovely visual novel there. Okay, let's uh quit out of this and. I think we have time for maybe one or two more, and then at that point, I kind of have to start grading some final projects, unfortunately. Uh, but I'll try to get one or two more in. So uh, I think the next one we have is Cowgirl Boots. Uh, so that's the uh, that's the sixth game over here. Let's uh, try to load that up. Okay, there's my screen. Let's load that up. So this is a Bitsy game, so I'll just be load, trying to load this in my browser, I think. Let's try to get this maximized. I think that's good. Okay, let me go back to OBS and switch that on now. Uh, okay, so this is Cowgirl Boots. Uh, it's a short narrative game made by uh, made by Fife. It seems like T H Y F E, and this is a Bitsy game. Let's play some of Cowgirl Boots. Any sound? Oh yeah, there's some sound. Okay. Uh, so if you're not familiar with Bitsy, Bitsy is a really great tool. It uh, kind of lets you like... Can I zoom in more? Yeah, that's good. Um, Bitsy is a real great tool if you haven't tried it yet. It lets you make like 2D world, pixel art kind of worlds. Um, there's a really great Bitsy community out there too. And just so many great Bitsy games too. So Bitsy is really great for... It lets you create this world and then uh, let's you do some simple scripting where you can interact with things by walking into them. So you can like interact with and like see like a, get a description about your bed or get a description about your nightstand. Uh, it makes it real easy to do everything. And it looks like we have a bunch of stuff here. We have a cowboy hat, weathered and old. So that implies that we've been wearing a lot of cowboy hats in the past. Your trusty lasso, but I guess you know maybe we're we're a retired cowboy, you know. Oh, we have a dog named Topsy. Aww, you give Topsy a pat on the head. Rough, rough. Aww, a lot of stuff going on here. Some hair bows and bobby pins here. You can go outside. Baked beans and biscuits. With some folksy music. It's like, yeah, it's like setting like a nice domestic kind of mood. Oh, and it seems like there's someone else here named Hattie. Hattie left her dirty dishes from breakfast. She knows you'll clean up after. It's up to us to do the dishes. I mean, it seems like we enjoy doing the dishes. Um, but, you know, I hope Hattie appreciates our labor and doesn't take us for granted, right? 
That would not be nice of Patty. Uh, can we, like, look out the window? Oh, yeah. Oh, because it seems we're in Oklahoma. That's what these windows seem to be signaling. Oh, and then, then there's, a, like, a letter? Where's the letter? Oh, we can go outside. Well, I like the whole perspective change, and I like the style change, too, right? It started as, like, this pixel art kind of abstract, very symbolic kind of thing, but now it's almost like a photographic kind of style going on here. Very, like, kind of more noisy and detailed. My dearest Hattie. It's been four long decades that we've been together. Forty wonderful years together, and I'm still in awe of you every single day. Could it be because of your dimpled smile? Or the way that you twirl in a hand-sewn squirt? Skirt? I was gonna say squirt, that's a, a different thing. Maybe it's because of how easily you turn a sour mood sweet with your peckish kisses all over my dirt-stained face. You know, people don't really write love letters anymore. It's, it's kind of sad. It's, it's, it's kind of a lost art form. The reasons are many, but I know one thing for certain. I'll love you till the end of time, my dear. Oh, look at these cows. Ooh. Oh, Hattie. How we have been through thick and thin together. What I want to tell you in this letter is not easy for me. Do you remember how you'd wait for months for me while I was on the trail herding cattle? I guess I'm a true cowboy, right? I was herding cattle. I was a rootin' tootin' cowpoke. Wranglin' and wrastlin' day after day. But even back then, I knew something fell off. Oh, uh-oh. I've known this about myself for a long, long while. Sounds like I'm about to come out to Hattie, but I was afraid to accept it, and I was too scared to tell you. Oh, that, that's my hat and lasso. The truth is, my darling, is that I've felt like a woman my whole life. Oh, I'm coming out as trans to her. Okay, even when I was a rough and tough cowboy out on the cattle drive, I still felt this way. There's no easy way for me to tell you this, but I figured 60-something years is a long enough of a wait. I know this is a lot to take in. I'd understand if you don't want to be with me any longer, Hattie, but know that, regardless, I love you still. That's a really nice, heartfelt coming out note. Yours always, Joy. I think in coming out notes these days, though, you don't try to give the recipient an out. You don't usually write like, by the way, if you're a transphobe and you hate me now, that's okay. I don't think people would write that in coming out notes now. <laughs> That'd be kind of sad. Because what if they're like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm a transphobe. That would be very sad. You greet Hattie with a kiss on the cheek. She smiles back at you warmly. And you are struck with the sudden need to tell her, honey, there's something I've been meaning to share with you. Okay, so that was the letter that I wrote. And I'm going to give her the letter that I wrote, I guess. You don't know. I like the perspective change again, right? It's like... It's like an anime, you know, when like the background just disappears and you just see like the lines, you know, it's like we enter this metaphorical figurative space. Video games don't really do that often, but I feel like Bitsy um, provides some really nice affordances and abstraction for that. You don't know where you got the courage to tell Hattie, but before you know it, everything you've been bottling up is rushing out. Oh my god, we're... Yeah, we really are coming out to her. You tell her absolutely everything. If... If you'd still like to be with me, Hattie, I'd like it if you call me Joy from now on. So it's also a little bit of, like, um... 
It's also talking about like a phenomenon where people are married sometimes or like together for like a very long time and then suddenly one or both partners might come out to each other as gay or trans or queer or something so there's like a lot of different um cultural things and currents going on with this piece here of course i do i've been sweet on you for nigh on 40 years oh my god she's happy with us that's good i mean coming out stories I think there's a tendency to sometimes like poo-poo the coming out story as something that's might be like cliched or might have like this kind of like boring pattern but you know it's it's kind of like what we were talking about earlier right you know like we still enjoy watching westerns even though they might follow like certain tropes of a genre right the coming out story is also its own genre that we can appreciate right we don't have to like demand um all this novelty or experimentalism from all our stories all the time, right? Sometimes stories can be more like comfort food, especially like a nice positive story like this, where this is a coming out story that goes well, right? We have plenty of coming out stories that don't go well, right? So sometimes it's nice to have just this like nice heartwarming kind of thing going on. You never thought it'd be as simple as that to just come out to someone. Both of you continued the conversation long into the night. You discussed your feelings with each other, and you both will expect how things will change and how things won't change. Patty's eyes light up when you mention that you'd like to start wearing dresses and skirts. She's excited to help you. She's excited to help you figure out your wardrobe. One interesting thing, um, one interesting trend that's popped up, uh, I don't know if it's recent or not, is uh, trans youth uh, clothing exchanges, where now a lot of trans youth, uh, because they might not necessarily like be like out to their family, or they're, they're not sure if their family will like help them buy all these clothes, is you can bring all your clothes to like some kind of community center and exchange all your old clothes for some new clothes. And then that's actually worked out for a lot of communities actually so and it's also tech you know also like a trope in trans coming out narratives right where uh it's like a big it's like a makeover kind of sequence that's kind of fun oh and then here's the here's what the whole story was about right it's about boots I noticed how worn down your old cowboy boots were, so I got you these at the boutique and thought I'd pick out a pair of these cowgirl boots for you. They do look nice. Now what's the difference between cowboy boots and cowgirl boots? Cowgirl boots are cooler and like more sequined and more frilly and I think look really cool and they have all these uh they have all these they have energy radiating from them i guess that's the difference between cowboy boots and cowgirl boots can't believe how lucky you are to have patty in your life cowgirl boots huh they're perfect the end oh that was kind of nice oh well thank you so much uh who made this again sorry Thank you so much again, Thife, for making this piece. Uh, it's a really nice, bitsy uh, coming out narrative. Very cute. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, oh, and Louis Zong made the music. Yes, thank you. Uh, okay, let's uh, go back to our browser. Let's see, do I have time for one more? Let me check the time. Again, a little bit late. I think this will be my last one, I think. Um, last one I think will be the next one on the line. No country for straight people. Uh oh, watch out, straight people. This seems to be this. Um, I think is uh maybe a humorous pun on the title "No Country for Old Men." Perhaps. Let's see if we can get this game running. Hopefully, it's windowed. Because if it's not, I don't know what we'll do. Okay, yeah, it is windowed. Cool. Uh, 
Okay, let's turn off the browser. Okay, yeah, seems to be running okay. No Country for Straight People seems to be... This feels like RPG Maker to me, so maybe we'll be able to play a Western... Queer Western RPG. Let's see how this goes. Uh, this is a game by uh, The Last Yuri Samurai. Oh, good username. Graphics by Final Boss Blues, music by Eric Matias, uh, and a lot with a lot of asset credits, and uh, credits to uh, Patreon right here. So uh, let's go back and try out this alternate universe where straight people don't seem to exist. Okay, use Z space enter to accept, holding shift lets you run. Okay, oh hello, hello Madeline, you're back so soon. Oh, I just got four chunks of cactus, or I gave Madeline four chunks of cactus. Let's see what happens. Go ahead and get yourself something nice in the bar next door. Oh, there's my horse. Oh. Ooh, and I have my horse named Sally. Oh, look at me riding a horse. Can I talk to people on my horse? Okay, so I have to do some quests, it seems. Does she have a quest for me? Let's see. Hello, Natasha. Aw, you'll find a nice gal someday. Aw. Oh, it's a gender inclusive church. That's good. Uh, okay, I'm afraid I don't have any tasks for you right now. But you should check my uncle's ranch on the desert. Oh, right. Okay, so I think our quest is to walk out to the east, right? We also need to find that girlfriend, right? That we've been wanting. How do I... Can I dismount? I don't know how to dismount. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to play games. Wait, what? Okay. Z is can... X is cancel. Okay, let's... Wait, no. X is cancel. Okay, sorry about that. Can't go up those stairs because I'm on this dang horse. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, shift lets me run. Oh, there's a fox. Can I dismount? I don't know how to. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to dismount. Where am I supposed to go? Uh oh, I don't know where to go. Horses can't walk downstairs? I mean, I guess so, you know? I don't know how to get off my horse though. Uh oh, um, I might have to look up how to get off my horse. Uh, I'm trying Z, X, and C. I don't seem to be able to press... C doesn't seem to do anything, neither does Z. I guess I can't dismount until I find this ranch? If reviewers would ask for a game, maybe there could be a- oh. Okay. Maybe I'll just leave my horse there. How about that? Okay, ran in. Oh, and all these characters breaking the fourth wall so so loosely. Okay. Uh oh. Wait, what's going on? Oops. I think 
Uh oh. I think I'm stuck. I don't know how to. Uh oh. None of my controls are responding. I think this character, this person is binding me to the floor with their psychic powers. Uh oh. Uh. I think the game might have frozen. Uh oh. Sorry. Uh. Okay, well, that's no country for straight people. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's just say we found the secret ending. How about that? That sounds good. Okay, let's try for one more since uh, unfortunately that one um, seemed to trap us in the secret ending. Um, the next one on that list is Man in the Red Mask. Um, unfortunately, that one's explicit and that one, I guess, will get me banned from Twitch. Uh-oh, if I stream it. So I guess I won't because Twitch will come after me. Um, so unfortunately, I can't stream Man in the Red Mask, but I encourage all of you to play it. Um, it has some beautifully rendered erotic scenes. Um, let's see, what else do I have downloaded? Um, I have... Um, I think the next one I have on that list is uh let's try let's try last gay saloon on the asteroid belt how about that that sounds nice uh i love this Yo, is this happening? Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Play this windowed. Okay, I think I have it running. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is Last Gay Saloon on the Asteroid Belt uh, by Jay Humps and Binary Mind and music by Ken McLeod, or Kevin McLeod? I forget what his name is. Okay. Let's play some Gay Saloon. Oh, what do I do? Okay. Howdy there, stranger. Welcome to the Twinkle Saloon. I don't think I've seen your face around these parts before. Are you new in town or just here for the evening? Uh-oh. Just stopping by for the evening. Well, you've come to the right place, says the barkeep. This here's the last stop before you hit deep space. Perfect place to refuel, resupply, and refresh. Maybe even fall in love with a stranger. Oh my, if you're that way inclined. Hey, is that a space guitar? <laughs> I brought my space guitar to the space saloon, really? Okay, fine. We're actually running open space mic tonight. Oh, what are the odds? What good luck. Uh, oh gosh, I should just be modest. I'd best n tell them I'm hot shit or else they might not let me play. I don't know, usually, I think with open mics, I don't usually want to like get too into it. Let's see what happens. Uh can strum a few bars and carry a few tunes. Sure, more than you make out. I think the bar keeps flirting with me. I'll let you know when there's an opening if you fancy a spot. So, what will you be having? Ooh, sh okay. Should we have space beer? Spare whiskey? Uh, space whiskey, sorry. Space cocktail. What's in the cocktail? Who knows? Or space water? Um... I mean, you know, this is like a typical bar, right? Their non-alcoholic options are always just kind of like, you can have all these delicious alcoholic things, you can have this, like, water. There are bars that do lovely mocktails, of course, but... Um, where are we feeling, chat? Are we feeling more like space beer? Space whiskey? Space cocktail? Um, okay, hello, Chris. Uh, okay, let's say... 
I think I'm feeling like a space cocktail. You know, it's a Friday, I think. Space cocktail, something fruity. Oh, very, yeah, very apropos. Okay, I see, coming right up. The bartender fetches me a drink, and we make small talk for a bit. I'm not sure if it's the chat, the news, or the saloon, or the drink, but I feel my nerves steady slightly over time. The place seems friendly, with rarely a ruckus raised. Oh, there's an opening for you to perform coming up. Do you fancy? Wait, I don't want to go up. I have stage fright. I don't want to go up. Oh, wait. Okay. So I guess those ellipses were represented me, uh... Oh, Jacep... Jacep Badwask. You old dog. Long time no see. Uh-oh. Kelvin? Kelvin is getting very intense. I don't know, I'm not really feeling Kelvin. I don't think so. Sorry about that. Well, at least Kelvin takes rejection very well. That's good. I'm a shuttle holly air. I take de deliveries from Kepler all the way to Helio. And when I get back, take a trip out to the Twinkle. Oh. Wait, what's my cocktail? Kind of weird that the barkeep is serving someone else before me. I think. I'm pretty sure I was here before this person. Right? Kind of rude. I think I, I kind of want to know what did I miss the description of my cocktail? Oh, private rodeo? Uh, okay, fine. I'll change my mind. Yeah, let's do some. Let's do a little rodeo. Oh wait, is this game explicit? Oh, I guess, oh, okay, no. I guess that's the end. Oh. <laughs> the end. Well, that was nice. That was a roller coaster, right? First I was like, no, I don't like this Kelvin person. But then the barkeep never gave me my drink. So then I thought, well, might as well. I changed my mind. Aw. Um, so that was Last Gay Saloon on the Asteroid Belt. Maybe there's different routes or different characters you can romance or woo if you play yourself. Again, this is a game by J Humps and Binary Mind. Good job. Okay, uh, I think that's gonna be all I can do today, unfortunately, because um, I have to. It's final season. I have to like do my day job, kind of. Unfortunately, um, but thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, I hope you got a good glimpse of some gay western games and I encourage you to check out the gay western jam on itch yourselves and play a bunch of these games rate them uh, leave comments for the creators uh, encourage people to make work because as you may know none of this is very like profitable or lucrative so it helps a lot if you leave comments or encourage these folks to keep doing the work that they do because ultimately that's kind of the only reward that any of us get from our work unless we're in that top one percentile of game developers that actually do get to sell games and make a living off of it uh, oh yeah let me drop a link to the jam one last time um it's over here there, it's in the chat. Please check out that link and play some more of these games. Um, maybe you're better at these games than I am. I don't know. Anyway, have a good rest of your day, weekend, weekend. And uh, again, probably won't be streaming for the holiday because I'll be away from the office and away from the streaming my streaming setup. But hope you all have a good holiday and um, catch you later. Bye.